Hey everyone, I'm Natalia and welcome back to my channel! Okay. Today guys, 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 cool, please. Today we're going to be doing a makeup look and for the people who do not like makeup, well maybe you'll like it this time. We're going to be doing a winter look because in on the east coast it has gone from summer to fall to winter within a span of three days. So within these three days, I have froze to death. <laughs> I am always cold, I cannot stand cold weather. Unfortunately, my body is not equipped to handle the cold. So I am gonna, I'm, we're gonna make a look. I'm going to make a fall look for us, for this season because it's cold, but you know, it gives me inspiration. So let's get started. And everybody, the main reason for this video is because I got to get my hands on the Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. <laughs> and also his mini controversy palette as well. They are now sold out, uh, according to Jeffree Star and, J and Shane Dawson. But I got, I managed to get my hands on both of these and I kind of wanted to use both these palettes in a way to create this look and, you know, show off the new palette. These palettes are so cool. Obviously, I've been following Shane Dawson for a long time. Um, I've been following him since, I'm going to say 8th grade is when I like started to watch his videos. Maybe not like every day, but... He definitely, I definitely subscribed to him around that time and that's when I really like started to like enjoy him and watch him more and it's just really awesome that he ended up be, like doing this and he deserved it in my opinion. If you guys have not watched the Shane Dawson series, it's honestly amazing. It made me tear up like, quite a few times. But <laughs> I have never seen a palette like this ever in my life. I only own like three other palettes. So that's probably why I don't own Jeffree Star's palettes. I own some of his stuff now. I didn't used to until I bought the Conspiracy palette. But open it up, like a briefcase, like, like Jeffree's, but I own Jeffree's. And you just open it up, it's like And then if you want to open up the other one, it's just the same way, except a little bit higher. Although I may use a highlighting palette from Jeffree Star's Brain Freeze just to get that glossy look. And I'm going to be using some of Jeffree's liquid lipsticks just to help with uh, the colors and everything. So let's get started. I'm going to take off my makeup first. Okay, I've successfully taken off the atrocity that was my morning makeup. <laughs> Honestly, my morning makeup was not that bad, but I just didn't want it on my face anymore. I needed to redo it to get into this look. I was gonna say spooky. It's not October anymore. So usually I start with milk makeup and I put it underneath my eyes because you can tell that my eyes are a little dark and they're a little puffy and I like to put them underneath because it makes them less puffy even though I don't know if it works but it makes me feel good. You know? <laughs> I go with my M224. I use Nikita's uh, color corrector. It's I haven't really got to try many color correctors, but the ones I have tried are really watery, and I kind of like this one, but you have to put like a little bit on because if you don't, it gets everywhere, and it's really hard to... It's very pigmented, basically, which is a good thing for people like me who have dark eyes. And next, I'm going to go in. Uh, this is actually my summer co color, but you know, we keep with it. It's the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I'm just going to put it all over my face. That look funny. I can't quite see myself because there's a box around my face, but I know I look funny. <laughs> Tart shape tape and put it in these areas just for that extra coverage. Now we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star powder that I just bought, which I actually kind of like it. It smells super good. It smells like extra burn. Dang. I'm going to go in with my bronzer and it's just the Kylie bronzer in, the sh in almond. Almond. I didn't want too dark of a one. I contour my cheeks a little bit. This is what I do normally. And I'm gonna put it underneath my chin. This is what I do normally. Cause I don't want to have a double chin. 
Better go in with Cancelled on the Mini Controversy palette. I'm going to use a random small brush that I had. It's probably an e.l.f. brush. I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to just put it all on my eye. What I like about this palette is look how pigmented it is. Like you can see that from the distance without me having to zoom it. Within the color that we have so far, I'm going to be using a smaller brush, which is the M431, and I'm going to be going into Flat Earth. <laughs> I love this color so much. <laughs> I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's two liquid lipsticks. I'm going to be going in with Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm going to be going in with Drug Lord. Um, I'm going to have Breakfast at Tiffany's more toward the edge of my eye on this side, and then for Drug Lord, it's going to be more toward the inner corner of my eye. You know what color goes really, really well with Breakfast at Tiffany's? The What's the Tea color from the Shane Dawson palette. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Ranch in the corner, the berry corner of my eye, with the same brush, yes, sorry. It looks kind of good, kind of fresh, kind of fun, guys. So this doesn't, this is not part of the Shane Dawson palette. I'm sorry I'm not like picking it up when I'm talking about the colors, but they're all named anyway. So if you wanted to follow along, you know, they have names underneath them. I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star's highlighting palette. I'm gonna go in with Freezing Tag underneath and I'm gonna just blend that out from Ranch and go out with it just to make it more. With Cold Shoulder on the Jeffree highlight and we're gonna go above my, like right underneath my eyebrow just to highlight it out. Okay guys, so I'm just letting you know that this is a very last minute decision that I'm making right now. I'm going to turn this into a just snow look. So this is not going to be just an eye makeup that I did, but I'm going to do a lot more to my face. So stick with me. I'm going with Drug Lord. I'm going to make some kind of like snowflakes piecing out of my eyes and my face. I just want to let you guys know that I ended up doing a lot more to my face than I thought I would. Um, I apologize for that um, and I'm sorry I did not record it. I didn't realize that my camera was going to have not enough storage on it so I had to delete some footage and then I ended up just starting to do some makeup without the camera on. I apologize. Um, I really didn't do much but you know you'll see how much I did once I reveal. Yeah let's go. <laughs> So guys, like the new look? What's up? I'm cold <laughs> to the brim. Guys, the look for this. Actually, let me give you a little like thing first. this is basically it really did turn from summer to fall to winter within a three-day span and I fun fact I cannot handle the cold weather I am not a big fan of the cold weather it's really pretty from a distance but if I have to be in it there's an issue basically I have blue fingers for a reason because I get That was my little acting skills, hope you liked it. Anyway, it gets so cold in the winter and this is the look inspired by. Obviously you can tell I did a lot more work than I said I did. 
I went in, I made snowflakes all around. You saw me in the beginning doing that, but then I also, I used Drug Lord and Breakfast at Tiffany's to accomplish these two colors that are here displayed on my face within the snowflake. Also, I ended up going in with some black to just depth in it and make it look a little bit more real. My eyelashes were already pretty much white. My eyebrows were white. Um, I put a little snowflake on this side because I felt that there was nothing really on this side and I felt like it was boring. And then I kind of did some Pennywise type stuff where I had blue running underneath my eye as if I'm crying because it's so cold, but my tears are freezing so it's stuck on my face. I did not make an actual one because I got really creative and put white dots on my face. And on top you can see that it looks like there's a crack sort of in my forehead, which is just ice. And my lips, I ended up using the Breakfast at Tiffany's and the Drug Lord and I mixed it together, but then I put black around the edges, which all the other colors, besides just putting Drug Lord and Breakfast at Tiffany's, I also put What's the Tea and Ranch within the white and the, the greenish blue, just to make the color more pop. So. If I chose not to actually use Drug Lord and Breakfast at Tiffany's, I could have just used What's the Tea and Ranch and it still would have been the same colors. And of course I used my rides here, I believe. Yeah, my rides here, which is just the black that's in the palette. Thank you guys for watching. This is my look. It happened very last minute. I honestly was not expecting myself to do this. I thought I was gonna just do a normal eye look, but you see, I cannot contain the ideas that I have in my head. They need to come out of my head, I'm sorry. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go down below and spread some love in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me what your favorite season is. Maybe it's winter. Sorry. <laughs> also, while you're down there, go up and hit subscribe. And turn on post notifications because I post every single Tuesday and Friday now. And I'm sure you want to know when I upload because it's not the same time every day, unfortunately, because of Wi-Fi issues or other things of that nature. So thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. What's up? It's cold. My fingers are blue. Woo! I look actually kind of creepy. I look creepy from this close. <laughs>